Hey folks, today I've set up a coding challenge to make a simple HTML piano using Grok3, ChatGPT3, DeepSeek R1, and a little bit of Claude. And the result turned out better than I could have ever imagined. Let's get started. First off, you don't need to be a programmer to understand what's going on in this video, and secondly, I worked with all these LLMs simultaneously, so we're going to be jumping around a lot. Here we are starting with Grok3. This model just dropped and it's supposed to be really good. Now, political stuff aside, as I said with DeepSeek previously, I want to use the best tool for the job when I'm coding. And since they're all free to try, let's see who's ahead in the AI race to build a basic HTML piano. I entered the same prompt for all three models, starting with Grok. In plain HTML, write me a script in a single index.html file to make a one octave piano and generate the sounds too. Grok started spinning up and after a while it looked like it froze, but in the end it spit out a full working script. Now we can take that code and paste it into our index.html file in VS Code. This is coding 101, copy and paste. After we save that, when we refresh the page, we get this. Incredibly, it works. My only critique is that the keys get stuck if you click and drag off of them. Now let's enter this same exact prompt into ChatGPT 03 Mini High. What's with the names? I will mention that this is the paid version of ChatGPT, so we'll have more prompts to work with and server issues aren't really a problem. Foreshadowing. This one also works, and obviously the layout has some problems, but the note sticking issue isn't present in the ChatGPT version. Next, we'll throw the prompt into DeepSeek R1 DeepThink. In my DeepSeek comparison video, there were people saying that I wasn't using the advanced model. I did use the advanced model for my first prompt, but because I kept hitting the server issues, foreshadowing again, I dropped down to the standard model because I couldn't get a prompt through. Fortunately, the making a YouTube video about AI gods were on our side today and DeepSeek gave us this. Wait, apparently in DeepSeek you can run the HTML from the website. That's awesome. Uh-oh. We'll paste that in, save and refresh the page. And that's not awesome. <laughs> It plays notes, but it doesn't stop them, and while the keys are more stylized, the layout's all wonky. So let's give them all another pass. I corrected each of their errors in the prompts and expanded the example to three octaves and also added a drag gesture. Here's the result from Grok. And here's the result from ChatGPT. And finally, here's the result from DeepSeek. All right, I could have ended it there, but I wanted DeepSeek to fix that one error. And since we're giving DeepSeek another prompt, I went back to Grok and I told it to act like a professional instrument designer and enhance the appearance. And this is what it gave us. I put the same prompt into ChatGPT, and you know the drill by now, this is what it gave us. So hopefully you're starting to see that each LLM can do the job to varying degrees, but the useful part is that each one of them presents something slightly different. It's like you're copying off your friend's homework at school, but then they're absent one day, so then you look off of another friend's paper, and you get different answers. Uh, so I've heard. And now to see how DeepSeek's doing, Oh man, the server is busy, please try again later. Technically now is later, and while we're waiting as a bonus, I opened up Claude just to see what it would produce from the prompt. Now, anytime I've used the free version of Claude, I always hit the limit quickly. Everyone kind of says Claude is the best one right now for coding, but they're probably right. I don't know, I'm just sticking with ChatGPT. I'll probably change at some point, but I just like the reliability, and it seems like if I change, then they're just going to keep leapfrogging each other. Here in Claude, we also have the option to preview the solution in the browser. Well, the other LLMs got three shots, so let's make it all fair. After firing off a couple more prompts, this is the result from Claude. And meanwhile, I fixed the alignment on ChatGPT. 
I finally got a prompt to go through on DeepSeek, but it wasn't any better, unfortunately. Sometimes LLMs do this thing where they work themselves into a coding trap. In those cases, sometimes it's better to just start a new thread, but at this point, all my prompts were just getting rejected. Next, I asked Rock to really go crazy on the sounds and visuals to blow all our minds. All right, that was really cool. Let's see how ChatGPT handled the same challenge. Not bad, but we can still do better. I entered the same prompt into Claude and I already hit the limit as it was typing out the script. I took that partially completed script and I asked Grok to finish it. Wow, things usually don't go this smoothly. I'm actually impressed. It's at this point that I should have just left things alone, but I kept going. After 10 prompts, Grok ran out of credits. So I transferred the script over to ChatGPT and I added a few components until I hit a stuck note bug and I was caught in one of those loops I was just talking about. Then, in a total Hail Mary move, I opened DeepSeek and I pasted in the code and it fixed the bug for me. So after starting the script in Claude, finishing it in Grok, adding features in ChatGPT, and bug fixing in DeepSeek, we ended up with a full polyphonic synthesizer with a low pass filter and an amplitude and filter envelope. And we got to this point in about an hour and 40 minutes since that's how long I've been recording. What the actual fudge. This is not how I thought I would spend my day, but here we are, and I can't complain. So is Grok 3 good? Yeah, man, it's really flipping good, but so are all the other ones. Which LLM is the best? All of them, all at once. Let me know your thoughts on anything we cover today. Grok surprised me, DeepSeek is still showing potential, Claude really needs to extend the free credits, and I'm sticking with ChatGPT once again because they're all in the same ballpark. I just need one that I can keep running prompts at without hitting a paywall. And the good news is we're spoiled for choice. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.